Would you like to get the capacitors in Micro 1 or 5? If yes, this is the right video for you because that's what I will show you right now. Okay, so please go to the video description and there's a download link for the capacitors. So click on that, please. It'll take you to the Mind Tutorial website. And once you are in here, just scroll down to the download links, click on Kappa Shaders and Iris Shaders. And the Iris Shaders will take you to my article on Iris Shaders. So again, scroll down to the download link and click on Iris Shaders, please. And click on Download Now, Download Universal Jar. And the second link will take you to the download page for Kappa Shader. So simply go to versions and download the latest one. And what you need to do now is to take the Kappa Shaders and drop it on the desktop and do the same with the Iris installer. So we now have both files on desktop and just type in percent fdata percent. Hit enter and this will open up the roaming folder for us. So go to the dot Minecraft. Go to versions, double click on Iris installer, a window will pop up for us. Choose 1.21.5 version and hit install. And as you can see, it's been installed. <laughs> now, just check that you can find Iris Fabric Loader 1.21.5. If yes, everything's just fine. And then go back, please, and go to the shader packs. Take the Kappa shaders and drop it into the shader effects folder. Now you can close everything and uh, let's open up Minecraft Launcher. Once we are in the Minecraft Launcher, we need to make sure that everything's working correctly. So, uh, what we need to do now is to choose Iris and Sodium for 1.21.5 and hit play. And once we get to the Minecraft menu, I'll show you how to actually activate the shader pack because it hasn't been uh, activated and it's not working at all. So, here we are. Let me extend the window. Let's get to our single player world. My world is Slashcraft. Go to the options, video settings, shader packs, enable the shaders place, and then choose Kappa and hit apply. <clears throat> and it's basically how to activate the shader. And as you can see, everything is working just fine without any issues. And it's a great shader. I love Kappa shaders. So thank you so much guys for watching this video and I hope we'll see each other in the next one.